time. Think back to it. He said 1969. This is a rough year. Every night in the news, you'd watch the horror of the Vietnam War. You'd watch the counterculture in the streets. He said, of course, there's been the assassinations in the years that preceded it. He said, so I guess maybe I was being a voice for people who didn't feel like anybody listened to them at all anymore. I said, you mean the people between Nevada and New Jersey? He said, yeah. <laughs> the people between Nevada and New Jersey. He said, the people that blew out to California and all up and down the West Coast in the 30s from Mountain of Dakotas, Nebraska, Kansas, Texas, up in Oklahoma. So the grapes are wrath folks that ended up out in California. Everybody ever came since. And then a couple, three months ago, I was back in Florida playing shows with Willie. Yeah, and Willie was a dear friend of Merle's. And I, he was excited when he heard me play a couple things of Merle's at night. He, he was on the bus with me. He had me on. He was playing some stuff that he had just recorded. He did a whole album of Merle's music. And through the smoke and the haze, I looked at him. I said, now, Willie? I said, Willie, are you there? Yeah, no, there you are. You never know on Willie's bus who's there in the bus with you and who's not. I could make out his beard and I said, now Willie, let me ask you something. I said, did you record this one? And he said, with a twinkle in his eyes, oh yeah, I did. <laughs> we don't smoke marijuana in Mexico. Oh. 